Hi, welcome to another Rarity Lock Challenge update. So here I'm showing uh, some rank ups that I made. I took um, Cap Sam Wilson to rank two, leveled him all the way up. Um, yeah, so right after I beat the Maestro, the, as I had mentioned before, the Rarity Cap rose to a max of max out four stars, and like five star rank three is like equivalent to that. I have Colossus here at rank 4, all the way leveled up. That took quite a bit of ISO, but I think it's going to be worth it. Um, rank 4 is really good. Rank 5, that's when you need T4CC and like a lot of ISO. I'm probably not going to take a lot of champs to rank 5 as a 4-star, to be honest, unless I really think they're worth it. Uh, Symbiote, uh, Sorcerer Supreme. I, I mix those two champs up all the time. Sorcerer Supreme is another champ that I leveled up. Um, I either don't have the Catalyst right now, or I just don't want to spend any more ISO. I didn't wait for a level up event. I watched Brian Grant uh, complete like side quests in like one of his latest uploads. And he was talking about, oh, like if he did like a new account challenge, he would super duper do like the legendary difficulty, go down the middle path, get those T4CC selectors. And um, it didn't make a ton of sense to me at first, but it makes sense if you think about how hard it is to get T4 class catalysts, um, like, early, you know, like, like, like early in your uh, account. I, I remember I had first started joining alliances and taking, like, alliance quests and things like that seriously because I needed T4 class catalysts. Like, before that point, I had never even bothered. But the need for T4CC was so bad that I, that I did it. Um, so yeah, I'm showing the successful attempt. Or at least I think this is the successful attempt against Nova with Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, this took many, many, many tries. But it cost two energy per try. So I thought it was totally worth it to just kind of, you know, hit the retry button a whole bunch. I'm trying to get to that shield phase, get some healing. I like firing the SP2 towards the end of the shield phase so that I get that regen, but then I also siphon a little power back when I'm in that power gain phase. I can maybe briefly try to explain how Sorcerer Supreme works. She has that theory phase where when she fires special, she puts armor breaks on the opponent and she also generally has more attack I believe. Uh, the shield phase she gets that passive regen where she regenerates a little bit passively but she also will recover some damage taken into the block. So I'm going to be relying on that block a fair bit. I don't want to rely on it entirely because I feel like I need as much health as possible in case I just get hit in the face. Yeah, so throwing specials when Nova is close to three bars of power is safe, as long as the final hit of the special, I'm in that power game phase. Things are going great so far, if you can't tell. Very, very good. Doing 3.7k damage. That's kind of a lot for Sorcerer Supreme with my masteries. I am. I don't have precision or cruelty masteries right now. It's all very bare bones. I think I upgrade salve after this video. Yeah, so I, as you can tell, this is a long fight. I'm trying to take it slow. But that... That regeneration is just so good. It's it's what allows Sorcerer Supreme to just really do a good job of punching up. Which is what this is about. I'm I'm doing this in legendary difficulty, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm doing this legendary difficulty with um rank four four stars and below, basically. Cause a T4 CC is gonna be pretty good.
So you'll you'll notice that I'm dexing a fair bit, which might seem like an odd choice. Uh, I've been hit in the face by Nova Specials many, many times. Um, so dexing the Specials can feel like a really big risk. That, that Special 1 isn't so bad. So here's another thing about Sorcerer Supreme. She's great for a lot of these fights because she has energy resistance. So that means that if she's taking attacks into her block that are energy based, she's not going to take as much damage. She's going to heal off a lot of it while she has that passive regen going. And I think she takes even less uh, of that red damage um, from Nova's basic and specials. Uh, she takes less of that too, so it just really mitigates so much. So I end the fight with 50% less health, a fight that I probably have no business winning. Uh, that's just the power of Sorcerer Supreme. So, not to give away things too soon, but what happens here is kind of tragic. Um, I had this whole game plan with Cosmic Ghost Rider. So it starts with the suppression debuff, right, that I placed in Mr. Fantastic. That ends up really helping. I realized with Psycho Man's whole, you know, heavy concussion, special concussion, all that stuff that the standard rotation where I don't dex and I fire the SP2, that works really well for this. And then I dex as special, which then starts me off in the aptitude rotation. So the whole thing was gonna be standard rotation, aptitude rotation, standard rotation, and I could just keep doing that back and forth because um, he has three phases. So when he cycles through all of them twice, like the cycle ends and then it begins again. But unfortunately, I just keep messing up. I just keep messing up and I can't get this perfect fight that I theory crafted in the car on the way to work. Like I like it I had it so perfectly in my head and it's just not working. So I'm having a bit of a meltdown and just spending uh just spending health resources. And uh this is why I can't have nice things. You know, it's 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 for a reason. It's because of stuff like this. I have this perfect fight in my head and I just can't make it happen. But uh, but it is what it is. I'm going to have uh, another opportunity to fight him again in epic difficulty. And, you know, with the lower health pools and attack, hopefully that's going to be a lot easier. Um, this is Psycho Man without any nodes, by the way. So, if I encounter him in the future, I can do the whole three-star Ghost Rider thing uh, with literally any Psycho Man. So, uh, so yeah, <laughs> watch, uh, watch and gaze upon my self-destruction, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I either forgot to record there. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I must have forgot to record. So that's interesting. I fired the SP-1 kind of just out of desperation. I have two judgments up. I can't tell if that judgment is from the Vigilance buff. All right, suppression goes down, cool. Okay, so that was not from the Vigilance. That's interesting. So what happens if I fire the SP2, SP1 here? We'll never know. Okay, so I'm gonna fire the special three See, this is why you don't do the aptitude rotation on the first cycle. You start with the you start with the standard, but I had two percent health left. I was just trying to survive. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's me being stubborn. I go for Cosmic Ghost Rider. Again, what is this? My fourth attempt? <laughs> um, oh boy. At the end of the day, this is kind of just like chasing dopamine, you know what I mean? That's sort of the point of video games, right? Like you, you get that reward center in your brain. You're like, oh, I, I, I did a good thing, even if it was just, you know, 
for fun. You know that that whole saying about hey, you know, if you had fun, it wasn't really wasted time, right? You know, time you spent having fun. So th these aren't really wasted health health resources if you think about it, because I because I'm having so much fun <laughs> just getting hit in the face by that ugly baby face man. I really don't like Psycho Man. Okay. It, it it looks like it looks like the aptitude rotation is going just fine. I just need to land a parry. I'm uh, choking visibly. You can tell. Uh, all right, so I don't get to the SP3. I think that's fine. Very cool. All right, so now I'm in the special concussion. What am I gonna do? Am I just gonna use basic attacks? Yeah, okay, he's down. Yeah, that, that part of the fight went much better. Obviously, I already softened him up quite a bit. Okay, so with Mr. Fantastic here, the fights aren't, the fight isn't looking that good. Um, stretchy man, he's, a, he's very squishy. Like not, he's not really a tank. Um, he takes less damage because he'll uh, weaken like the specials when he places his careful study uh, passive debuff. So there's that. You'll notice I have two debuffs up. Uh, it's because I used two of my persistent charges trying to make the uh, the CGR versus Psycho Man work. I on paper it was a good plan. I just I struggled to execute really bad. Such a good fight on paper. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just have to practice that matchup more. I'll have to find somebody with like a six star rank two Psycho Man or something and just and just duel. Well, it doesn't work like that, does it? No, no, it doesn't. I might have a six star Psycho Man on like a like my other accounts, maybe my main. My alt, I don't level up a lot of champions. I, I, uh, I'm very stingy with that ISO. It was my main attack. Oh, goodness. It was my main account where I would level up practically everything. Like, like as soon as there's a level up event, I would just pour the ISO into like four stars, five stars, literally whatever that I didn't level up just so I can get those points. I think part of it is I was doing a lot more arena, and I was acquiring champs slower. That's that's the thing about your first account. It's like it's early in the game's life, so there's a lot about the economy of the game that is just uh, old. You know, Kabam tries to get you to those new titles faster, uh, trying to give you a hand. You know. So there's that, so things are just going to go by slowly. I also just don't, I just didn't know as much about the game. I, I think I also ran out of uh, quest energy constantly. So like in my downtime, I was like very much addicted to the game. I would just like do a lot of arena and then just open a ton of premium hero crystals and then that would get me ISO, so just uh... Just very different experiences. That's that's the beauty of these uh, free-to-play account challenges. So as you probably notice if you're watching the fight, I uh, let those debuffs fall off. Doesn't feel good. What am I gonna do here? He just never wants to throw his specials. So I thought maybe Captain America would be pretty good because he has this ability where if your armor up buffs are removed, nullified, uh, but not armor broken, then they kind of just become passive. I thought like, oh, that'd be cool. I can just stack passive armors that might make me tanky. I can block special ones and like no consequence. Uh, but here, he's pure of heart. 
I have a ton of debuffs on me. He lays that stagger and that's it. I'm just dead. So you typically don't want to go up against a long shot with a champion that has a lot of buffs. Especially if you push him to the SP2 while he's pure of heart. That's just not a good idea. Sorcerer Supreme, she doesn't have any buffs aside from Dex. I really do appreciate that weakness on the SP1. That's like a good thing with Mr. Fantastic. Like if you want to soften up like a hard opponent for like your other champs, you just go in there with Mr. Fantastic. You survive um, three special ones or just maybe take the last hit of the SP1 in the face. So then you, you only wait for two. What is gonna happen here? <laughs> I think I'm waiting out that pure of heart timer. Trying to hold block. Ooh. That, oh my gosh. I was gonna say that the, the dexing, his basic attacks, that was dangerous. Uh, but then sure enough, I missed the special two dex. I think I just choke a lot in this challenge. Like things aren't going the way I want, I get upset and then I get scared and then I play scared. And playing scary can, is just really bad sometimes. Especially since that's not typically my, my play style. It, it, you know, it sort of depends. Different, different play styles, different matchups, different champions, all that. What's gonna happen here? Is he gonna throw a special one? Is he gonna do some passive power gain shenanigans and just totally screw me over? I dexed that like six times. Dex this one. Well, I might just take it in the block, honestly. Why not? Nice. I got just a little bit of power drain on that special. <sighs> I don't like the amount of bad karma that's on me. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, dex. Dex. See? Not that hard. I dex that special all the time. Granted, these days I'm typically using uh, very strong champs, a lot of health. If one of them dies, I just use another one. Whereas here, uh, the fight's really long. I have a lot more to I have a lot more to lose. I don't have like a a good. I have a I have a pretty good revive farm in Act 3.2.6 of Thanos Quest. Um, that makes for a good revive farm if you just run that. But what I prefer is like an energy farm that also drops revives. It, it takes a lot longer to farm. You have to do it manually. Like you have to be there, do the fights yourself. But it's just sustainable that way. By the way, <laughs> my item farm. Uh, don't 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 tell Kabam, please, please. <laughs> my item farm is Act Five Point Three. No, yes, Act Five Point Three Point Five. It's the quest that has the Black Panther CW boss. So since the Act Five nerf, um, like each step of energy costs you two. Uh, per tile instead of three, which is amazing. And because of that, the even though you get fewer item drops in 5.3.5 than you used to get in 5.3.6, because they nerfed that. They heard that that was a good energy farm, so they nerfed it. But even though you, you maybe get fewer item drops than you used to in the other farm, uh, it still works out because the farm, like the path that gives you, there's one path that gives you energy. So that path costs you like 60 energy. So if you pick up one energy refill, you get like a 10 energy rebate, which in a uh, quest six, the green goblin, the one that the farm, the farm that they nerfed, um, used to spend 90 energy to get like a few revives or maybe like 78 energy to hopefully get two energy refills 
So the fact that in most runs you actually get some energy back uh, is incredible. <laughs> like, you'll lose energy sometimes, but mainly the, the point of an energy farm, the way that I use it, is that you were spending energy that either would have gone in overflow or you would have uh, you would have used it somewhere else. But you spend it in such a way to where you get to bank some of it. So it's kind of like a battery. So most batteries in life aren't 100% efficient. You can pour a certain amount of watts or whatever it is into a battery. Ah, uh, that's a sad way to die. But it's it's fine though. I I, I did a whole lot of good stuff with a sorcerer there. I think I just followed this up with CGR. So in real life, you can pour a certain amount of watts into a battery, but you you only get to use like 80% of it. Like the battery might hold on to 90% of what you've got, and then when you go from the battery to the device that you're charging, you get to use 80% of that. So, so every step of the way, every transfer, you get like a little taken off. Um, however, in 5.3.5, uh, that quest, most paths, you get 10 energy back. So for the price of 60 energy, you get an energy refill, um, which is 70. So that's, that's actually really huge. Anyways, enough about item farms for now. Here I've got the T4CC. Okay, so I hit autoplay, so like I teleported automatically. So I, I split it down the middle between T, like a, between Mystic and Tech. I was a little bit too much of a coward to make a commitment <laughs> to either one. And I, I was like partway through forming uh, like a tech catalyst and like a mystic catalyst with fragments. So all in all, it may have been a good decision, but I just couldn't choose between Captain America and Sorcerer Supreme. I'm starting to really appreciate Captain America, Sam Wilson, just more and more as I use this account. And I think in a little bit, you're going to see why, but I won't give it away. So what is the strat with this Colossus? You'll see here we have Power Shield, we have Stacking Power, and Combo Party. Combo Party is uh, it's really nice. I appreciate whoever developed this fight, Combo Party. It's, it's always a help. It's never, it's never like a punishment. And it's really good for this because the way Stacking Power works is it bases um, your power on buffs that you gain. Ugh, this fight goes so horribly wrong. The way this is supposed to work is I, I dex, so I get that precision. And then when, when you hit and your uh, precision goes away, that counts as you gaining another buff. So it's like you gain two precisions for one dex, basically. And so each buff is 20% of bar of power. So whenever I dex and I hit Surfer, that counts for 40% of bar of power. So I can gain a lot of power just by dexing. Typically when you play Colossus, you're going to cycle through SP1s, I mean SP2s. The thing is, without, like with this node active and without his signature ability, I can't just gain free armor buffs whenever um, Silver Surfer would armor break me. So because of that, I, I cycle SP1 instead. And um, it's, it's not a bad play style, especially for a long fight. It's very slow, but it does get the job done. Uh, whenever you use an SP1, it will add one indefinite armor up buff. So typically when you're cycling SP2s with Colossus, hopefully you have them awakened at high sig, um, it will duplicate, it will like maximum double the amount of armor ups he has. But typically, let's say you have six and use a special two, you'll get maybe two armor ups, maybe four armor ups if you're lucky. But with the SP1, you're guaranteed indefinite armor up buffs. And that helps his tankiness as well as his uh, crit rate 
not his crit rate, his critical damage. So increasing critical damage is good, especially with combo party, because I get cruelties. So you stack armor up cruelty with the cruelty buffs. You combine them together, you get really big juicy hits, but it's just not... This is another one of those fights where like, oh, on paper, incredible fight. You know, Colossus versus uh, Silver Surfer. But just in practice, it just doesn't work the way I want. However, we're going to see the power of Captain America Sam Wilson. Despite being a tech champion, he stacks buffs better than Colossus does, provided that you can't parry. I'm not parrying because Colossus is weak. Um, I have him as a rank 4 4 star against this huge boss, so I'm trying not to block. Whereas Cap here, he's got incredible block proficiency and every hit he does, he has a chance to stack an armor. So every time I do that, I'm going to add power to myself. So by now you may have um, caught on to how a lot of uh, Cap's rotations work, at least the way that I use him. It's, it's all about like building to that SP2, you know, occasionally using recon scan in order to pause those ruptures and just kind of have them build up. Um, hopefully the power drain. I, uh, I struggle trying to get that power drain off. It's very inconsistent for me. Also the recon scan counters miss. I don't know if that ever comes up in this fight. Like silver surface invisibility is like so brief, so situational. It's like barely even a thing. <laughs> It is a thing. When it catches me off guard, I'm not ready for it, but when I'm ready to counter it, I got that recon scan up. Might as well not even have it. There's no point. It's like when I'm ready for it, he doesn't have it. When I'm not ready for it, I get punished. It, it, it is what it is. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm doing pretty good. Like, you can barely tell that there is a power stack note on this. It feels like I'm just gaining power normally. Okay, I saw a miss fail trigger on the right side of the screen, so I actually countered invisibility for a second. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, things are going great. I'm stacking those cruelties. I don't think the cruelties benefit Cap directly because I, I never crit. He's one of those champs where like, okay, well, if you would have crit, provided that you actually crit, but you don't crit, then you like stack ruptures or some other effects. So I don't think your cruelties do anything. Please just, yes, I get it off and then special two. Yay, <laughs> so good. Oh man. Wow, I'm already back to a special two. Yeah, Cap Sam Wilson is just so good. When you need utility because of nodes or specific champions, he's got the utility you need. It's, it's just perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta crush the lower difficulties of side quests with this incredible team. Until then, take care.